Welcome to my channel, Thrifting Adventures. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Stephanie and my channel is all about how to save money from thrifting and make money from thrifting. So today I have a small little haul to show you. And actually this haul is from a couple weeks ago. I've been super busy lately with uh, tagging for the Just Between Friends Kids Consignment Sales. And if you Look at my past videos, you will see a little bit about that. Um, but I went to one estate sale uh, with my son a couple weeks ago, and I found a few items, and then I found one item at Goodwill that same day. So let me just show you what I found, if I'm going to keep it or sell it, and how much money I think I can make, you know. You always want to hit the jackpot and get something that's worth, you know, thousands of dollars. But hey, you know, if I can double my money, I'll take that. So the first little item I bought, and I've never bought one before, is this cute little owl. And this was actually from Goodwill, so I'm going backwards because I went to the state sale first. And it was half off a $6.99 plus tax, made entirely out of little tiny shells and some kind of uh, string. And it's very crafty. Um, this was big, I believe, in the... 60s and the 70s even up into the 80s and there are actually people that collect these i looked these up on ebay and some can sell for quite a bit of money um i'm gonna try to sell this for around 20 dollars. so you know after fees and all that i'll at least double my money or triple my money if i only pay four bucks so yeah it was a cute little find and i thought i would give it a try i've never bought one before so something new all right, so at that estate sale, I didn't find a lot because we got there later and there was a huge line and it was really crowded. A lot of times around this time of year, there's only like a few estate sales and everybody goes to them, so they're super crowded. Uh, I got this little towel from 1979. It has the months on it and it's cute little girl with the floral print and I love these because I love the colors in them and they don't really make stuff like this anymore so this is really fun then I found this really and this was like the last one there um, because in the pictures when they advertised the estate sale there was quite a few fun vintage dresses and it's I believe a hundred percent cotton and it has a fun, clean, summery look to it. And it is a bigger size. I think more if it's more of a size medium. It even comes with the original belt. I paid $7 for this. But it was in such good condition. It has a nice, clean look to it. It can go with a ton of accessories. I, I paid up. And this lady was at the estate sale. And she saw me grab it. She's like, oh, that was what I was wanting. And I'm like, okay. I was like, well, I got it first. And I was even late to the sale. So I'm like, sorry. Uh, let's see. What else did I get? Very fancy. Brand new rubber gloves, 50 cents. I saved 50 cents. They sell these at the dollar store. So that was uh, exciting. Let's see. You know, I've had this setting aside for two weeks. I can't even remember what I bought. Oh, I did get this cute little hobnail white milk glass dish. It's only $2. I'm not sure what I'll do with it, but it was so super cute. I love the pattern on it. I'll do something with it. And then I bought my very first hen on nest. And most of them were sold. They, they had a whole collection. And there was just a few left. And I just picked this one. It was $2. And I don't know much about it. But if Ashley Rose is watching this, Ashley, tell me about this hen on nest. There's no markings on it. It's like a milky glass. And it's in perfect condition. So, Ashley, comment down below the history of that hen on nest. My very first one. Then I bought this really beautiful 
vintage cotton, and this was $4, cotton tablecloth, blue and white, and it's actually really big. And I love that it was just two basic colors because a lot of times you'll get multiple colors or they'll have lots of stains. And this had a couple stains, but I think I can get it out with bleach. But, I mean, only $4. That's actually a really good deal. If you go in any antique mall, you usually see them for at least $20 or more. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> more gloves. 50 cents. Woohoo! So those two packages, I saved a dollar. Then I got, I don't know why I got these, a package of magnets to put my business cards on. It was a dollar. I don't know, maybe I could put my business cards on these and send them to people and they can put it on their refrigerator. I don't know, I don't know why I bought that. Um, now when I got this, it's um, for a necklace, I think. It has a little hole in the top, and I really like the design on it. It was only a dollar, so I think I'm going to make this into a necklace. Pretty cool. And I didn't get that much. I don't, also don't know why I bought this. This is an impulse purchase. It was vintage lipstick for $2. It has beautiful engraved gold case. And yes, there's still lipstick. Ugh, I don't even know if I can. It doesn't work. Anyways, you can see bright red. I don't think I'm going to put it on my lips, but I know people collect these, and sometimes they'll put their own, uh, make their own lipstick and use the case for it. I don't know if you can see that. My camera doesn't focus closely on the items. And I got some vintage earrings with the screw backs. I thought these were really pretty. Nice and green. And they were only $2. And I think I'm going to watch a YouTube video on how to make them into uh, pierced earrings. I know there's videos out there where you can change clip-on earrings into pierced earrings so I can actually wear them. Then the person who had lived at the state must have been a Mary Kay representative because I bought some Mary Kay bronzers, brand new, $2 each. And I love bronzer, even though you can barely tell because I'm so pale. <laughs> I do love bronzers. I got three of those. And then I got brand new um, makeup brushes from Mary Kay for only a dollar. So that is it. So not a lot because I got to the sale late and it was super crowded. Um, I think some of the items I will get for free because I'm going to make profit on some of the items. Um, the henna nest I might keep. The dress I will probably sell anywhere from $20 to $30, which will make me you know, at least a $15 profit. The tablecloth I will sell for at least $20. You know, that will make me, again, like round... $15 profit. Um, the necklace pendant here, I might try to make a necklace and sell it. I only bought it for a dollar, so that would make me like seven or eight dollars profit. So, all in all, I think I did pretty good. Um, hey, if you guys enjoyed this haul video, definitely give a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more videos of mine, they will be coming. Subscribe to my channel. Till next time, see you later. All right.